Okay, today I am going to demonstrate how I make a linen panel. So here's one that I've completed. These I use a lot for plein air painting and for smaller studies and they're really handy. Another thing to note is that the technique for folding the corners of the linen that I'm about to demonstrate is also exactly the same technique that I would use when stretching a canvas on the stretcher bars. Now here are all the materials that you will need for this exercise. A suitable workbench, a plywood panel, in this case I'm using 9mm ply cut down from a larger sheet. You'll need some Belgian linen, I prefer a medium weight unprimed linen, however to speed up the process you could use pre-primed I do prefer using the unprimed as I find it easier to stretch and prefer the surface when priming it myself. Also the size will sink through the unprimed linen and adhere it to the panel. You'll need a sharp pair of scissors to cut your linen to size. A decent staple gun. I'm using 8mm staples because I am using 9mm plywood. A small hammer to bang those staples in at the end. Here's the acrylic size that I'm using which is actually acrylic medium for house painting. If in doubt, you can also use an aliphatic wood glue and maybe mix that down with some water. You'll also need some acrylic gesso and a brush to apply that with, as well as a piece of 120 grit sandpaper. Now, all of these materials can be sourced readily at your local hardware store and art shop or alternatively ordered online. Now I usually cut my own panels down using my saw bench, however in this case I actually had a local carpenter cut me a whole lot of custom sizes. One of the things I love about making my own panels is I can cut them down to any dimensions that I require. Now this comes in super handy for things like painting paintings for existing antique frames that always come in non-standard sizes. So there's heaps of reasons why I love making my own custom linen panels. Now let's get started. First of all, when you cut the linen to size, just make sure you've got enough width there to easily fold around the back and staple. Here I've left approximately four centimeters extra width on each side. Now it's time to decide which ends we want the corners to be actually folded on. Normally I staple along the long side and then use the shorter side, so that's what I'm going to do today. Now when stretching linen, either over a panel or on a canvas stretches, especially unprimed linen, it is quite elastic, so it's important to keep the weave straight. So this is the first thing to take into account. One way that I ensure to keep the weave straight is to actually staple along the entire edge just keep everything in line. Now I can staple right up to the end. Because this is a panel, not a stretch canvas, I'm not gonna use my stretching pliers. I'm just gonna stretch it by hand. The other thing too is if you stretch it too much, you do actually stretch the weave out of alignment. It's important to give it a little stretch in both directions. You can see I'm pulling it towards the left hand side. It is actually important to note that if you're using 9mm ply, use 8mm staples, etc. If the staples are too long, they'll push through and you'll end up with unsightly blemishes on your perfect linen panel. Okay, you'll notice that I have stapled right up to the end on these two sides, the longer side. That's because we're going to fold the linen on these shorter sides. But first, what we want to do is put a couple of staples in to hold everything in place. Okay, now you'll notice that I've left an area here that's approximately four centimeters. Depends on the depth of your panel as, how, as to how much you want to leave. Now I'm gonna do that on this end as well. To 
Just using my fingers to stretch the linen into place. Okay, now comes for the, um, the important part, which is actually the folding of the linen. To keep things nice and tidy, what we do, we're folding it in and under this area of, of the linen. So find the absolute front corner and pinch it. You can see what I've done. I've pinched the linen right to that front corner edge on this side and using my other hand I'm pinching it to the back corner edge of the panel. Now all we need to do is fold the linen over this part underneath will fold at a diagonal across and the top piece will fold over. Now that's going to give us a nice clean edge when we staple it. Now one thing that I often notice is you, you can see it here a little bit. If we stretch that linen out it's poking out too far. So all we do at this stage is get the linen and roll it between my, your thumb and forefinger to roll it back a little bit. Now that will ensure that you get a really nice clean edge. Now all that's left to do is staple it in place. I often put another staple diagonally just to secure it. And that is how you create a tidy linen panel. Now I'll hammer these staples back in as well when I'm finished, just to keep them flush with the back of the board. Now let's have a look at another corner. Now I always just do this quickly these days because I've done so many, but you just give it a little roll between your thumb and forefinger. There we go. Not sure I need to show you this all over again, but I will anyway. It's actually pretty simple. Once you've done this a few times, you'll never forget it. And it's a really, really handy thing to know. I've probably stretched thousands of these, literally, over the years. Sometimes you want to pull that inside edge tight first so that it gives you a good purchase on the outside edge. Okay, to finish this, I will always put a coat of the same size or glue that I use to size the linen on the back. That'll just stick everything down and make sure there's no loose threads. There you go. There is our linen stretched over a panel, perfect for plein air painting or studio studies. Make sure you wipe any stray material off the front of the linen before you size it. Original soundtrack by Alistair James Campbell. For more interesting content, 
follow me on Instagram. And make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Thanks for watching.